for sure. Hey everyone, what's up? It's uh, Sammy Khan here from Rustic Raver Cosplay and Photography. And uh, just showing you um, the video I recorded at New York Comic Con 2013 last year. And I figured, you know, I'll give you guys a little tour around the Javits Center for many of you have, who have never been to the convention or um, are planning to go for your first time ever, you know, in 2014. Uh, I figure it give you a sight and sound of what you can expect to find over there. As you can see, you know, when I was walking into the convention center, it's a, it's a really popular con. Um, it has grown over the years just um, amazingly in size and everything. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> My fault about that. Silly phone. Don't be so loud. So yeah, the convention has grown over the years, uh, and um, it, you know, I would even say it's at a point where the poor Javits Center probably can't even contain it, even with the new 100,000 square foot addition they added onto the place. And uh, as you see as a recording, um, you'll notice that the Javits Center might not be looking its best, it's actually going under a major multi-million dollar renovation and upgrade. So you see there's lots of like construction areas and stuff like that. But overall, like uh, the convention center is still good. Like you see on the top staircase, on uh, the skylight in 2012, all that was blocked off because they're renovating all of that, adding new um, glass and framework. So they got that done uh, for 2013. And I'm sure 2014, I'm gonna guess most of the construction work probably will be finished up. It's supposed to take a couple of years for all this major renovations are done because uh, the Javits Center is a huge convention center. I mean, it's, it's huge. And as you can see, like, there you go. There's an idea of coming in through the main entrance of the Javits Center. All the people you... Because you, you have to go through there. And um, I guess that's another thing to bring up. Um, the type of security. You have two types of security. You have the... Um, give me your... Uh, show me your badge. Let me scan it. All right, go on in. As you see, I think that was Yaya Han over there, but whatever. Um, yeah, you have the security guards that uh, either, like, give me your badge, let me scan it, go on in. Or you have the NSA style, who do full, like, searches and pat-downs and checking every everything that has a zipper on it. They'll, they'll thoroughly look you over. Um, I was lucky enough last year to get the one who pretty much, like, go on in, let me scan it, all right, bye. Alright, so now you see here, I'm walking into the um, dealer's room and um, like uh, venue display for a lot of merchants and a lot of video game companies, toy companies. You see Bandai's there. Um, you see the promotion for Gundam Seed. Um, I mean, the con is, it's a, don't tell, get me wrong, it's not a bad con. It's, it's actually a great con. Especially if you love shopping, because there is so many vendors to shop at, and um, so many new products to see and try out. Like you know, there's I think that's for the I think that's Monster Hunter. I, I could be wrong. I believe that was for Monster Hunter. Um, what's that old? So no. Yeah, I mean it, it was just so packed. It actually, I had a hard time actually navigating in the deal in the dealer's room here and I apologize I didn't get much video in here because it was just so packed with people I physically couldn't get through I mean there were some areas that were just a mob full of bodies and I just physically couldn't pass you know but um there's a lot to see a lot to do there's lots of free stuff um here too I mean you, you know in previous New York Comic Cons I've been to um I've gotten free novels, free posters, free towels. The, yeah, the towels are a little strange, but hey, it was free. It was kind of cool um, from this one vendor uh, promoting a new movie, that a new independent film that was being done. 
Um, yeah, and, and the, like you'll find a lot of game companies here too. Um, not only video games, but also like RPG, you know, board games and books, stuff like that. And Mega Box, yes, Mega Box. This is where. Um, is that over here or later on? I actually get free. Wait, wait, there, there we go. Yep, <laughs> got my free Mega Box, which was cool. I mean, you know, that, like I said, right there, free swag. Check that out. Right, hey, it's Barbie, but you know what? It's free. It's not bad. Um, so, yeah, and you can see, like, there's, you know, you can find t-shirts here. Um, there's a lot to see and do here. Now, like I said, the place is super crowded. So, if you're a cosplay photographer, maybe not the greatest venue. Like, especially if you're the kind that don't want, like, the distracting crowds or, or just, like stuff behind your shots you just want something like you know natural that looks good um this is probably not the con for you really to do great photo shoots at um i'd done a photo shoot uh, last year for um a and j cosplay and um you know we mainly did the the photo shoot actually in the hotel um, because just the con is just so crowded, you won't get decent shots, you know. And, uh, as you see me taking a break, I was trying to catch up with a few of my friends there. Uh, a few cosplayers are going to take pictures of. Um, where's Waldo? Found him. And there, there, there's some, like, toys, action figures, there's comic books here. Um, you find, um, lots of artists. Oh, there's a Doctor Who. The Boston fan. So, um, yeah, continue on my journey for a bit. So, let's see, what else we see here? There's a really tall Luffy <laughs> from One Piece. Monkey D. Luffy. So, as for this year, um, will I be going to New York Comic Con? There's probably a good chance I won't. Um, I do have a lot of other cons lined up on my list, you know, that I did this year. <coughs> Pardon me. Such as um, Castle Point Anime Convention and um, Anime Next, which I was lucky enough to do for a day. And, of course, Kineticon coming up in just a few weeks. Um... Like I said, if I get a free badge or an opportunity to go to New York Comic Con for a day, then yeah, I'll go there and record more video. Um, they see some books. And, you know, that would be totally cool. Um, as probably one of the biggest controversies, like I said, this is a really popular convention. It's, it just keeps getting more and more and more and more attendees every year. I mean, there's, a, there's not a year that it doesn't grow. Um... But uh, this year already, 2014, VIP and um, four-day badges already like sold out within within the hour, but like less than I think it was like about 10 minutes, you know. And uh, I know there's many disappointed fans, which does suck, you know. Um, and I guess he he says mismanagement. Or, you know, just what it really boils down to. And, and I mean, yeah, a lot of general people, raw people, did just get their tickets naturally. You know, and they're happy about that. And I have come across scalpers. You know, I went to eBay. I typed in New York Comic Con 2014. And, yeah, I ran to scalpers. So, you know, and a four-day badge that only costs you $95 is going on eBay 160 uh, 200 I think I've seen one for $600. Um, and there are people actually keeping their eyes on them, so, you know, these people want their badges badly. Um, and here you see a walk down corridor. There's many small panels going on and events. Um, I think there's a Nintendo one over here. Um, so yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah, I didn't bring my camera to that one. But yeah, Nintendo was there showing off the Wii U and 3DS, which was fun. I had a great time playing it. And, um... You know, trying out a lot of new games. And, like I said, this year, with seeing E3, going to be a great year for gamers, no matter what console you play on. 
There's a Sailor Moon standing in the corner. More people. A Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy retrieving a camera. And there's someone with a bag from um, Mirror's Edge. I mean, that was a cool game, and I wanted that bag. Um, yeah, the dude right there with the gray shirt. There you go. And I also went to um, Playboy was here actually too, which was a kind of, was actually a very fun panel. Oh, hello, Sailor Jupiter. Like I said, Playboy was here. Um, they were debuting their new perfume and cologne line, and you got a picture with a free a free picture with a cyber playmate. Um, not as popular as the actual playmates, but you know what? I figured, what the hell. Um, a shot with a free cyber playmate? Definitely, I'll take that up. I'll take that up on that offer. And what is this one? That might have been the Nintendo one right there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as you can see, the lines of people. And yeah, the, the easiest thing I did to record this all this video here, um, I actually used my iPod Touch. Since it records at 720p, um, I use my iPod Touch to record video because, you know, lugging a video camera, I could have done it, but, you know, it's been kind of packed and awkward holding a camera and trying to walk. So it's easy just holding my iPod Touch. I made it, I put together a little mounting mechanism, held it in my hand, and just walked around. <coughs> now, here, down here, all these people, these are for the panels um the guest panels that they have many like the walking dead um what other panels they have they have the walking deads um doc um i think they have a doctor who panel here too i could be wrong but i know the walking dead was here and that was the biggest one uh, a lot of the crowds here were for the walking dead um and you can see just how how packed and the one thing that a lot of people have mentioned in New York Comic Con is that when you go to the panels, you run into campers. Um, those are people who will sit through one, two, three, or every panel just to wait for their panel to come up. So they might be a panel you want to see, and you it just comes to an unfair disadvantage because these people don't leave, and they sit there, guarantee themselves a spot for their panel, and you might not get in for your panel that you want to see. And I know that's one of the things that have made people very grumpy with uh, the con, you know. And New York Comic Con doesn't seem to do anything about it. They don't seem to enforce any policy like, hey, you have to wait your turn to get into a panel like everyone else does. You know, you have to leave the panel room, no camping. Um, and I guess like, that could be kind of tough because maybe these people really want to see the other panels coming up too. So they just sit through every panel. Or... And the flip side, they could just be people being greedy just to sit through a panel to make sure they get a spot for their panel. So it's kind of, I could see where that's kind of a hard rule to even enforce. And there you go, as you see, there's some more people. More bodies. Um, you run, a, you find a lot of cool cosplayers here too. Um, there's a female Severoth, she was cool. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Who else we see here? More peoples. More people getting lost. Some people looking really confused. Uh, try and make my way to the escalator, I believe I was doing. So, oh, so another thing I should point out too, if you're coming to New York Comic Con, um, try to sneak in your own, like, bottle of water or juice or soda. You know, don't be a wise ass and try sneaking alcohol. I'm trying to help you guys here. Be legit. If you want to try sneaking something in, try sneaking water, or soda, or juice. Um, and maybe a sandwich or two. Maybe a couple energy bars or protein drink or granola bar, whatever. Chips. Because the food here is very expensive. I paid about $11 for a bowl of salad that was probably you know size wise the bowl is probably four inches by four inches i mean it was a small bowl and probably about maybe good three inches deep but you know two inches being for the salad <laughs> <clears throat> so 
So yeah, food at the Javits Center is very expensive. Or you can just leave the convention because you have your badge. You can go back in. You just have to wait through the the, the check-in line again and get yourself scanned because. The new badges that they made starting last year it was are RF have RF communication chips in them. So they scan it and then you go but go in, but you have to wait in the line to go through that process. Um, so you can either like I said try sneak your own food in your backpack, you know, drink, sandwich or whatever. And or you can go out into New York. There's many reasonable pizzerias and other places to eat around the area. This was attempt two, um, going into the dealer's room again. And there I am, just waiting to get on the escalator. And uh, going on up, slowly. Nice and slowly. <coughs> up we go to the dealer's room, the dealer's room, the dealer's room. Up we go to the dealer's room to try to get some swag. And we're up here again. So yeah, emphasis. Food is expensive here. If a bowl of salad can cost you like 11 bucks. Um, I personally never bought anything else there because everything else was also pretty expensive. Like, uh, remember, I, I, no, I, I think that day I did buy a, a cheeseburger, if I remember correctly. And that was like, I think about almost like eight, nine bucks for a burger. And not a large cheeseburger. It's actually very small, basic. Like, I make bigger burgers when I barbecue kind of burger, smallness it was, you know. And see, there's some comic books. Um, some artists over there setting up, passing a couple Power Rangers. <laughs> Minecraft, and of course a Creeper, and a steampunk, um, I forgot the character's name from Adventure Time. A shredder, which was totally cool to see a shredder, a classic shredder on top of that. So, yeah, more comic book. Like I said, the con itself is good. It's a little pricey. Um, four day badge, 95. Uh, three day badges, if I remember correctly, are like $65. I mean, if you're gonna go for all three days, then you probably will get your money worth. Um, don't think this as like other anime conventions or just like other conventions in general. You know, be it whatever Sandra may be, sci-fi. There's no workshops in here. Most of the panels are just for, you know, from what I experience, are just for like like celebrities from like different TV shows and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want like a a, a panel about like. Um, why Attack on Titans is totally awesome, or Princess Jellyfish should be president of the world. You're not going to find that here. Um, you won't find those like small mom and pop created panels. Most of these panels are run by you know celebrities, companies, stuff like that. Oh, just saw Awesome Ray. So um, I think these people here, randomly, I just got a video, are from Japan. I think they actually came from Japan. To visit the um, New York Comic Con, which was cool. So I figure, since people are getting pictures of them, I grabbed some quick video. But um, yeah. Ooh, classic Batgirl. Isn't that cool? And a Captain America. So like, yeah. Um, this is not your your traditional con where you have like little panels like that. Like you have big names and celebrities and big panels that are coming here so like I said justifying the cost and it's great if you want to buy stuff like if you want to buy stuff try out new video games before a lot of other people would um, it's it's not a bad con um for the anime lovers like I said there is some anime aspects to it since New York Comic Con used to run the um, they used to run anime um, New York anime festival and um, they used to run New York anime festival separately and um, it was great New York Comic Con and New York anime festival had their own dates their own separate times in the whole year 
and then 2011 it was they start they merged New York Anime Festival into New York Comic Con. Uh, 2012 was pretty much like dismal. Um, New York Comic New York Anime Festival got shoved in the basement of the Javits Center uh, with very little like events going on for it per se. And then that was pretty much the last year. Then they killed it all together. And a lot of people were upset and disappointed about that because New York Anime Festival was a great con on its own right. So I know there's a partition going around, people trying to bring it back. And it would be nice to see it back. Since you know New York Comic Con did bring up special editions, which is a comic only convention. So they had that this year for the first time ever. So we can hope that they bring back, you know, New York Anime Festival. But like I said, you see lots of cool stuff here, like you know, checking out a video game, stuff like that. But um like I said, $65 for a three-day badge is not bad. You know, it's a, if, especially if you're gonna go all three days. You definitely get your money worth then for it. You know? Especially if you're gonna buy stuff. It's a great con for shoppers. It's a great con to meet guests and celebrities. Um, it's a great con to interact with people. Like I said, it's just over, it's way overpacked. You know, like it's it's cramped in there. So don't go in there rushing. And if you're gonna cosplay, I strongly suggest cosplaying something that's not fragile, you know, or easily breakable or might get stepped on a snag because there's feet everywhere. Oh yeah, it's a game for, it's just dance. So, um, because uh, I had a friend that did um, a chroma from Magic the Gathering and her wings got pretty bashed up at New York Comic Con um, one year she went there or I think it was her first year she went there so um, yeah you see there's like two games going on at the same time you had this game and then Just Dance right behind it I'm Batman but uh you see there's more and like I said there's the food court it's like upstairs um I forgot how many levels even say the job center is it, it's it's massive poor Pikachu murdered Pikachu <laughs> that backpack <laughs> saying a Deadpool a bat man and bat girl couple And Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks was having a little competition going on um, to build a military Humvee, and I think it had to do it the quickest possible. That was pretty cool to see that, though, because you know, Mega Blocks are you know just as cool as Legos, and you're never too old to play with Legos or Mega Blocks. Never too old for that. And see, look at that. All those glorious pieces to build cool stuff. And to show you, there's no age restriction when it comes to enjoyment like that. And a toad. A cute, adorable toad. So, like I said, if it's going to be your first year going to New York Comic Con, you, you know, it'd be a mind-blowing experience. Um, like I said, wear comfortable shoes. Sneakers, you know really soft sneakers that make your feet feel totally happy um like i said try to sneak in a bottle of water or you know whatever bottle of water soda juice um sandwiches um granola bars energy bars energy drink you know i only say energy drink for sake because those things aren't healthy for you but you know like the um you know the uh, insurers or something like that. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the. Uh, I see the video just finished. So this been my experience at 2013 New York Comic Con. I am Sammy Con. If you have any questions or you like to talk about New York Comic Con or you like want to know anything in detail, you know, feel free feel free to drop a line at our on our Facebook page, um, Rustic Raver Cosplay and Photography. Um, and this video, um, like I said. So, if it's your first time going, definitely have fun, you know, and enjoy. 
Later days.